up, everybody? Welcome to the Bartley and Bards YouTube channel. I am Jacob Bartley, and this is another one of my unboxing videos. If you haven't watched some of my previous ones, go ahead and check those out on this YouTube channel as well. I've done a the Captain Marvel Hot Toy one. I did a few of the Power Rangers Sideshow collectibles. I did the Megazord and the Dragon Zord. And I have a new one here today. So yes, go check out those videos after you're done with this one. So if you don't know yet, I am a huge fan of collectibles. And I just recently got into the Hot Toys game uh, a couple years back. And if you see my Ray figure right here, this, this was my first one. Ray from The Last Jedi. Ray training. I believe they call it the training Ray from The Last Jedi. That was my first hot toy and it's very difficult to stop buying them but i only have a few well i actually only have two hot toys i have captain marvel and ray and this one right here which we're going to get to in a second but the actual the megazord ones and the dragon zord are not hot toys but they are they did come from sideshow so today we are doing the justice league wonder woman deluxe one six scale figure from Sideshow and Hot Toys. I am so excited about this. I've had this for like a week and a half unopened. And I saved it just so I can do this unboxing video. And you can't even see what I'm putting my hands on. Because it's not in the camera. But here is the box. I am actually going to uh, switch the camera to cover this area down here as I'm unboxing it but I just wanted to do an introduction so yes let's get to it let's open this together the one six scale figure Justice League Wonder Woman deluxe hot toy figure let's do it okay so now you can't see me really but that's who cares you want to see this figure and I'm so excited about this now as Someone who's been doing a couple of these unboxings now. Uh-oh. Got to get my address out of there. Uh, I do like giving tips on unboxing. So they say when you get a, uh, you know, a package, they say not to use a box cutter because you could damage the box. but Or you can damage what's inside. But I say, you know, sometimes it's the best option. So you just got to be careful. You know, you just got to be very, just use the tip of the blade and open it like this. Some stuff may be avoided using the blade. And kids, don't do this without your parents' permission. But uh, there are certain things like we bought a yoga mat and <laughs> we tried to open it with a box cutter and we sliced the yoga mat. But anyways... Let's get to this, man. I I love doing these. It's so exciting. I And the thing is about this is there's only so many hot toys a non-rich person can buy. So this is a, a special occasion, you know, that I, we don't get to do this this often. So I'm super excited about this. I, I seriously can't believe that I had it unopened for that long. So let's do it. I, I even like just seeing the box. That's why I leave this closed because I like revealing the box as well. So let's get this out of the way. All right. Oh, shoot. We got Gal Gadot on there. There we go. The box is awesome. The box, the boxes are always awesome. And I always save them, not just because the boxes look cool, but you if you ever have to transport your hot toys, they place right back into these boxes perfectly. So you don't want to get rid of the box, at least in my opinion. I save all of my boxes for the hot toys. All righty. This is so cool. Look, you know, as adults, we don't get to enjoy Christmas as much as, for those of us who celebrate Christmas or other ho gift giving holidays, we don't enjoy them as much as adults. So this is like Christmas for me. Okay. Oh, 
just want to cherish this moment. Look, I'm going to be unselfish and let you guys see it first. can't really see it that well but we will okay so this looks pretty cool the back looks cool let's look at the front alrighty man she's got a lot of accessories holy crap I think she has two shields and her sword of course man this is gonna be so dope and I'm going to have Rey, Captain Marvel, and Wonder Woman standing all next to each other. It's going to be amazing. And I have a couple more on the way, but I don't want to spoil those yet. But those, will be, those won't come for a while. Alrighty. The great thing about... Look, if you're considering buying Hot Toys, it's... Look, they are expensive, but... They do payment plans. You can make a $25 deposit. You can do, depending on the figure and how much it costs, you can do a four month payment plan and pay $50 a month. They're relatively affordable, but just don't buy too many. All right. It, this plastic really gets in the way. It's because the lighting and the camera of being able to see it. So it's kind of cool because it builds the anticipation of actually revealing the figure. Okay, so we got the lasso, which is really long. Or is it like hard and it's like stays in that position? Who knows? We'll see. We got the lasso in here and we got multiple different hands. If you can see. Probably won't. Maybe I will open this. We'll see. We'll see if we have time. Okay. All right. Got to be careful here. This These videos are, if not nothing, uh, just a tutorial on how to open these. <laughs> Rather than just enjoying revealing it. Okay. Oh, there's another lasso in here. Okay, so here's the lasso wrapped up. That's cool. We got the lasso wrapped up and that's th the other thing is the lasso in action. So this is what I love about this. Like they don't look like I said, they are expensive, but they don't cheap you out on this stuff. Like it's like, okay, we'll get like the Captain Marvel came with multiple heads because you got the mask on mask off. They don't cheap you out on this stuff. You get your money's worth. Oh shoot. It's not two shields. There's a freaking mother box in here. Oh my goodness. So look, I ordered this a long time ago. So when I ordered it, I looked at all the accessories, but I com honestly, I completely forgot about most of these accessories. Okay, so in here, we have her sword and her shield, which look amazing. And I'll go ahead and open those as well in a second. And... Okay. Oh my goodness. Look. We have a cloak. We have her cloak. Which is awesome. The cool thing about this is like... You know when you buy other toys... The stuff that's supposed to be cloth is like hard plastic. This is real cloth right here. Like I've gotten toys where a cloak is hard plastic. And I'm like, what? It should be cloth. Okay. All right, now let's get to what really matters, which is the actual Diana figure. All right. Never ceases to amaze me how quality these figures are. Okay. Man. Oh my goodness. Her, oh. So, all right. At first, I thought there was a hair. Like, an actual, like... You know how you have hair in your food? I thought somebody lost a hair on my figure. Which would have been disgusting. But her hair is, like, feels real. Look at that. 
Oh my goodness. Like, okay, this is crazy because the Ray figure, the hair is plastic. And on Captain Marvel, the hair is plastic. This is, feels like real hair. Oh my goodness. That is freaking awesome. Okay. And just look at the quality in her face and everything is crazy. I mean, it doesn't look exactly like Gal Gadot, but it's pretty dang close. Well, there we go. There's Miss Diana Prince herself. There's the face. Her boots are awesome. It's crazy to me that I can't believe her hair is is that quality. That is awesome. Uh oh, script bent a little bit. Okay, so let's set Diana aside for a minute. Wow, her shoes are like heels. I did not realize that. Is that always the case? Okay. All right, Diana aside for a second all right so let's take a look at this mother box here wow this is just so look they could have made the mother box like a cheap piece of plastic that that's light it would have looked the same doesn't really matter but this thing is quality it's like this is like a brick. It's like a rock. You could, this would hurt somebody if you threw it at them. That is awesome. Okay, and we just we got some more of her little wristbands. I think these are like when they're heating up, which is pretty cool. Um, and then we have this one as well. And which I love, these platforms are so awesome. Like, they don't have to include the platforms, but they do. And this one, this might be the best platform I've ever, I, out of the three that I have. Look at this. Can't really see it, it says Wonder Woman there. That is freaking awesome. Man, this, this might be, and it also comes with this little, my, uh, they both have the, they all have these, the little things to like, this goes in here and it helps hold her up. This might be the best figure I have, to be honest. It, we'll see. I mean, it's the newest one, so it's, it's easy for me to say that, but that is crazy. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at some more of these accessories. Look, they even put, give you a little stick to keep the to keep the uh, robe straight. <sighs> Can't wait to put this up. I'm gonna have to take a picture with all three of my figures together. Okay, so let's put this aside for a second. And let's look at some of these accessories really quick. So we have the shield, sword, sparky things, and I forget what this is. Okay, the shield, the shield's kind of light and plasticky. Uh, I would rather them have made, I, oh, I guess she wouldn't be able to hold it up that well, but I would rather them have made the shield more sturdy um kind of like the mother box is but that's fine it still looks amazing and it's probably a weight issue with her arm holding it up i love swords like i i just love swords i mean i love my my ray lightsaber the 
Megazord's Power Sword. And I love my figures with swords. The sword is, again, a little too flimsy, honestly. But that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Like, it's not going to ruin the figure. But they are a little light for my liking, these two objects here. But still awesome, nonetheless, for sure. Okay. I just want to take a look at this lasso in action. Okay, so yeah, so, it, oh, it's like, so you can use the lasso in different scenarios and just make it look cool like she's whipping it around. And we have her different hand figure, different hands as well to do different things. Oh my goodness, okay. This is just awesome. So I, overall, I am very satisfied with this figure. Very satisfied. It is it's really awesome. And I can't wait to uh, display it with my other ones. But yes, the overall, the quality of the actual figure is amazing. She has actual, I, I don't think it's real hair, but it's real looking and real feeling hair. I, I think that's something maybe Sideshow is going for or Hot Toys is going for. Um, the accessory, the amount of accessories is amazing. Most of the accessories are incredible. The cloak is amazing, very high quality. The mother box is amazing, very high quality. All of the uh, wristbands and the lassos are awesome. The sword and the shield could be a little bit more sturdy, but like I said, I'm not complaining. It's like it's probably. I don't know how much weight she can hold up, but it's probably has something to do with the weight. But yes, oh my goodness, I I love this figure. Uh, definitely a positive, positive review for me. Alrighty, well that's gonna do it for my Hot Toys unboxing of my Wonder Woman Justice League one six scale figure. Let me know in the comment sections what you think of the figure from what you can see. I know it's not the best on the camera, but uh, yeah, just whatever you can tell from the figure. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Uh, this, like I said, it it's they're all great. But out of my three figures, this might be the best. But I'll revisit this. Um, and once I have a little bit more time with all three of them and take a little look. And I haven't actually used all of the accessories for the Ray and the Captain Marvel. So I'm going to have to uh, explore some of that stuff. But yes... The Wonder Woman Justice League figure is awesome. If you were considering getting it and haven't, I highly recommend it. It looks great, feels great. The accessories are just make it over the top oh, awesome. So, yes, I am very, very satisfied with this figure. Yeah, and that's going to do it. So, thank you. I'm Jacob Bartley. This is the Bartley and Barnes YouTube channel. Subscribe to my YouTube channel or our YouTube channel, I should say, if you want to see more of these hot toy unboxings in the future and other collectible unboxings in the future and also check out the main bartley and barnes show check out my power rangers podcast off the grid thank you all for the support i will see you all next time